Hey everyone, welcome back to another fun-filled haul video. My name is Sunshine and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I like to film my haul videos and my what sold videos so you can see what I'm picking up and what I'm selling it for. So these are items that I've sourced over the past week in various places, but I can guarantee I didn't spend over $6 on anything in here. So if I can remember the price, I'll let you know. Let's just jump right into it. So the first item I found was some Democracy Girlfriend Jeans in a size 10. And I picked these up because they have some distressing, they have some embroidery, and they're a cropped length. So they're perfect for the season. They're in excellent condition. And usually I get around $25 for this brand. So I'm hoping those will bring the same. Then I found some Maeve. I didn't even know. I mean, I know Maeve makes, makes clothes. So they're an um, anthro brand, I think. But it's this tie-dye thermal waffle knit shirt. And it's got a cowl neck. So I thought that was a really unique twist. And I wanted to pick it up since it was on the color of the week. So I only paid $2 for it. And even though I have Maeve listed, I haven't sold any yet. But I'm hoping that'll bring at least 20 Then I found some Balance Collection. This is um, Marika, I think it's called. And these are in a size medium. They're in excellent condition. They're tie-dye. This material, I was running my hands through the uh, athletic wear, and I picked these out thinking they were Lululemon. That's what they feel like. So that's crazy. These are in excellent condition. I'd be surprised if they were ever worn. And even though I've uh, sold their hoodies before, I've never tried selling their leggings, but I'm hoping those will bring at least 25 then I have no clue. I haven't even looked this up yet. It's Florissant, New York, in a size 2X. It may even be vintage, but I picked it up because it's this pretty crochet shell with all that embroidery. And it has scallop details around the neck. And it's lined. The sleeves aren't lined, but the bodice is lined, so... I just thought this was a really cool piece, and since it's heavier weight, it's perfect for fall. Oh, I didn't show you. Look at this. It's got the most beautiful embroideries on the hem, and I didn't even show you that. So I'm hoping that'll bring at least 20. Then I found some shoes. So I only paid $4 for these. I've never heard of this brand, but look at these. How can you turn down these cute wedges? And the tops are in excellent condition. They are by uh, L'Artiste Spring Step. And they're a size seven and a half. So the uppers are leather and they're hand painted. And then it's got this cute little embellishment right here and the Velcro. But like I said, the Uppers are in excellent condition, but the soles, they were worse than this. I cleaned them up. So they are ready for their new owner. And I don't know this brand at all. So I'm hoping those will bring at least 30, but I'll probably be sitting on them till spring. Here's my crazy piece of the haul. So this is Shannon in a size medium. And is it vintage? I think it's, yeah, it's vintage. So it's got lamb's wool, angora, and nylon. But I picked it up because, are you ready for this? Talk about some bling. It's a purple sweater with all these embellishments. Look, that one right there looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and I couldn't find any missing embellishments. Not to say there aren't any, 
but I couldn't find any. This sweater is just amazing. I can picture somebody wearing this to their Christmas party and it is in excellent condition for a vintage piece with all these embellishments. So I don't know, I'm hoping at least 40. I got high hopes, yeah. Okay, then I found some more shoes. So these I only paid $4 for, but they are purple and pink, my favorite color combo. And they're Zumba sneakers. So they're Zumba sneakers. These, This is leather. And they're in a size 10. And they're in really good condition. Soles have a little bit of staining. I mean, they've been cleaned. but So I'm hoping somebody's back in Zumba class and needs those sneakers for maybe 25 to 30. Then I found, this is so cute. I don't even, it's a, it's a UK brand, so it's called Fun to See Room Decor. But it is an enchanted garden, an enchanted fairy garden stickers. So they're wall stickers. And they're reusable. And they're all in there. It's brand new. I'm the only one that opened it, and I only opened it to take pictures. So it's got the little mushroom house and all the fairies. And I'm hoping some little girl is going to get this for Christmas. And since I don't know the brand, it's a UK brand, I'm hoping that the 25 or 30, that's going to be expensive to ship though. Because of, it's not really heavy, but the length of it. So I don't know. We'll have to see. I was so shocked. Wait till you guys see what I found in Tucson, in my little town. I found some Eloquy jeans, shockingly. And what are these? These are in a size 18, so I've got a great size going on. So they're five button. I call them stack button, but I don't think they're called that anymore. And they're a high rise. And they're either a straight or a skinny. I haven't looked them up yet. But they are in excellent condition. And I hear other resellers say this brand does really well for them. So I was so shocked I found these in Tucson. I don't know, 50 bucks. I've never found it. And I can't remember now what they price it at, but I'm sure it's pretty high. Then right next to it, Lord, I can't believe I found these. I found some AG, Adriana Goldschmied. It's called the Gemini. I not only found some AG jeans, but they're new with tags right next to the Eloquy. So these came from Saks Fifth Avenue. And I guess they retailed for 156. Lord, these are so cool. So, made in the USA, they're size 29 regular. These, I think, were a mid-rise. They've got this cool charm on them. And I've never found this brand before, so I don't know. Another $50 pair, hopefully, maybe more. I don't know, since they're mid-rise, I may not even get that, but I was excited to get them. And I think both of those were on the color of the week, so I got them for half off. Crazy, right? So then I went to a small thrift store, and they were having a 50% off sale. 50% off everything. So I spotted these Charming Tales things, and I thought, I don't think they're worth anything. But they're from 1997, so I decided to scan one. Yeah, so they're Fitz and Floyd. They're Charming Tales. Most of them's from the 90s. This one is the Leaf and Acorn Music Box. I'm not going to take them out because they're packed with styrofoam. But I didn't pick up all of them. I should have. But I wasn't sure if I would get them home and they'd be broken or whatever. 
Luckily, I talked to the guy that runs the place, and he said, if I opened them up and they were broke, I could bring them back, ask for him, blah, blah, blah. Surprisingly, the majority of these that I got were new old stock. They had never been used. So I'm not sure what these are going for. The music boxes I paid $5 for and the little pieces I paid $3 for. So the only one I found that had any kind of uh, usage wear was this one. And this is Merry Christmas from Our House to Yours. These are so cute. This thing weighs almost two pounds. So cute. But it has some yellowing from display and from age. and But only on the snow parts. And like I said, this was the only one that showed any kind of use at all. Most of them were new, old stocks. So I picked up those two. And I picked up more, but I'm only going to show you a couple more. And then I got the... Um, Hocus Pocus, because we're going into Halloween. So that's what that looks like. It is so cute. These are so cute. And then I also picked up the Building a Pumpkin Man. And some of these are going for more than others, so I'm hoping for at least $20 for the little ones and maybe $30 to $40 for the big ones. Okay, then I found some shorts. And I have heard some YouTuber say this before, this uh, brand, don't remember who, but they're Title IX in a size 12, and they are some kind of hiking shorts with a bunch of zip pockets. And then they have the roll snap legs, so these roll up to even, like these are Bermuda length. So they roll up and snap right there to make them shorter. And I haven't looked these up yet, but I'm hoping at least 20, maybe more, because I know I've heard that name before. I just can't remember where. Old age. Then I found some more pants that I know I've heard of, but don't know anything about. So these are level 99. In a size 27, and they are tinsel pants. Really cool. I really like these. If they were in my size, I'd probably keep them. And whoever said tinsel doesn't wrinkle is crazy because these have only been in the bag for a few days and they're already a wrinkled mess. <laughs> but I don't know. Hopefully at least 20 for those. I should have looked stuff up before I filmed this, but I didn't. So we're just going to roll with that. Okay, then I found a nice fuzzy sweater by Urban Outfitters in a size small. And I think this is all wool, but let me look. This is... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it. I don't even know why I bothered... Oh, uh, lamb's wool, I think. It's either lamb's wool or merino wool. I don't even know. And I can't see... But, there's the tag. I've never seen a pink Urban Outfitters tag. So, it is in excellent condition. Striped, mock neck, long sleeves. So, I'm hoping that'll bring at least 25 or 30. Put it back in its bag. I keep the sweaters in the bag to keep them from you know, maybe getting pulled by something else. So this little unique piece I may end up keeping because it's denim and it's soft surroundings in a size extra large. You're not gonna be able to see the tag, but I got it because it's acid washed. It's got a V-neck, it's acid washed, it's got long sleeves, and then it's got these snap sides. How cool is that? So the sides are actually wider. It's like they put a piece in to make, you know, it flare out a little bit. But y'all definitely be wearing this when it gets cold out. It's still in the 90s here. If somebody doesn't buy it first, I am going to list that. I'll probably list it for 27 and see what it brings. I'm going to call this the denim haul. I can see a whole bunch of denim. 
So the next item I found were True Religion in a size 20. Now the problem with these are, this is not a size 20. I'm wondering if these are boys. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research because these are definitely not a women's size 20. But they are in excellent condition. And they're awful long to be a boys. I don't know. And they have the fringe hem. So I'm going to have to do some research on these. If these would fit me, I would definitely keep them because they are totally my style. But hopefully at least 20 25 for those. Then I found some more Marika Balance Collection. This one is a pullover tie-dye hooded sweater. It actually would kind of match those leggings, but this one I think is a bigger size. Let me look. I think this one's in an extra large. Yeah, this one's in an extra large. So this piece is really unique because it has all this ruching in the back that you're probably not going to be able to see. So it's got ruching all down here for kind of shape, I guess. And this would be the perfect thing to put on right before Shavasana in yoga. When you're laying down, resting, and yeah, getting cool. So I don't know. Hopefully at least 25 for that. Then I found some more Democracy. These are in a 22W, good size. They have that AB stretchy waistband technology. And they're in a camo print. And they've got the side zip pocket. Well, actually it's not a pocket. It just, it's like a detail. So it unzips, but it doesn't like unzip the pocket or anything. These are in excellent condition. And because of the bigger size and the camo print, I'm hoping for at least 30 for those. But we'll have to wait and see. Then I picked up something for me that if nobody buys it before next summer, I'm going to wear. So it's just uh, Pez Globo. And I'm assuming it was from Mexico because here's what the tag says. So it's one size, but because of what it says on the front, it says, okay, I can't pronounce that, Huachuluco, Mexico. But I didn't pick it up because of that. So it's got these cool braided straps. I picked it up because, boom, it is a rainbow tie-dye. It's got all the fish on the bottom. I really, really love this. This is a new without tags condition. So I will list it, but if nobody buys it before next summer, I will definitely be wearing it. So hopefully at least 25, 30 for that. Then I found some more jeans and I bet these are democracy too. This was a democracy kind of week. And they weren't all found at the same place either. So these are in a size four. And I picked these up because they have like paint splatter, little bit of destruction, and the fun's on the hem. So you have a raw embroidered hem, a little bit of distressing on the back, some more paint splatter, which I'm hoping that was intentional. <laughs> So at least 25, 27 for those. Then I found more jeans. These are established 1946 denim. Is that like a brand? Do you guys know? Look at that. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it. These are in a 22W, so it's a good size. Medium wash. They've got all that embroidery and embellishments on the front and boom those embroidered back pockets and it's rare to find slip pockets 
with all that embroidery and embellishments. Usually they're flat pockets. And are these a, let me look. Oh, this might be a straight leg, which is a bonus. And they're probably a, yep, they're a high rise. So right on trend, but because I don't know that brand, I don't know. I just sold a pair of apartment nine jeans like this for 25. So at least 25 for those. Then I found another brand I've never heard of. It's Cheyenne. And they're in a size 32. But I picked them up because they have all that embroidery and embellishments on the back pockets and all the top stitching and whiskering right here. And they're either a capri or a crop length, but they are in excellent condition as well. In fact, if these would fit me, I'd keep these two. They might, I'll have to try them on. But I just really like that. And since COVID, I've put on like 15 pounds. So yeah, I'm going to have to find some clothes that fit me this year. It's going to be funny. It'll be cold out. And, you know, I'll have to transition from shorts and I won't have anything that fits. So I've been on the hunt. Okay, then I found, shockingly, some Sanuk. I've never found this brand in the wild. Some of these styles can go for a lot of money. Not mine, of course. These are called like the beer flats or something. I don't know. I just looked them up too and already forgot. Like the beer run shoes or something. I don't know. It was hilarious. So those are in a men's size. Jeez, now I'm not going to be able to find it. Um, I think 11. I can't see. But they're in really good condition. And some man will want these to run and get beer with, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, kids, that's my haul for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.